Yo, what's going on guys, Sekapoko here, bringing you another Genshin Impact video for this being over, Bennett. And we're doing a two-part YouTube series based on this character, one for support and one for DPS. So this time we're gonna be going over his support build and talking about how he can become one of the best healers in the game and possibly the second best healer in the game. Uh, in the video, we're gonna be going over the healer build for him and the following video, we're gonna be showing a DPS build for Bennett. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So Bennett, if you did not know, is a fantastic support character. Possibly one of the best support characters in the entire game, if not the best support character in the entire game. Now, the reason he's so good is because he provides, of course, a damage boost on his ultimate, and he also provides the ability to get large, large, large amounts of healing. And he's possibly the second best healer in the game. And I'll go over why. Oh god, my HP, it is so low. Oh no, I'm about to die. Uh, no, I cannot handle. Please help, please help. Okay, I'm ulti. And now I'm healing for 4,800. So the reason Bennett is so strong is because you can literally heal every second for 4,800 while you're in the ulti. And a lot of people are like, oh, but you can only heal up to 70% of your HP. Well, that's kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> you can only heal when it's below 70% HP, but hey, you get above that pretty quick. And the best thing to get for Bennett is, of course, HP and energy recharge rate. As you can see, energy recharge rate. Oh, look, my ulti's up again. And then we're dancing and we're dancing and we're dancing and we're dancing and we don't even have to pay attention. So, of course, you can heal up whoever you want on the team and just do whatever you want. It's wonderful. I literally maxed out my Mona's health there. Uh, she healed for 3,994 because that was her max HP. But, uh, yeah, uh, essentially, best build for Bennett, uh, Healer Bennett, is it's just busted. Yeah. It, it's so good that uh, I don't even know how to tell you like I can't even like justify why Barbara's a good healer anymore Because uh, all you have to do is just cheese people with your Bennett heals. Let's go do a domain So over here we gotta kill and bring this guy's shield down boom They'll bring this guy's shield down real quick with a water character. All right sounds good We're gonna do that great get some charge up on Benny. Oh look my ulti's up already and now we're chilling Oh damage Oh god, not the oh damage. Oh god, not the da oh god damage. Oh god damage. Oh god. Betty, save me. And now we're just chilling in the damage. I'm gonna go in the ice cloud. <laughs> That's OP. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Just, just massively OP. I love it. It's just. It's just so nice. And uh, as you can see, we're using the sacrificial sword to get a little bit more energy and get the uh, ulti up even faster. And look, oh look, it's up again. And we're healing. 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 Oh look, we're still healing. Oh look. Oh look, I'm still healing. Oh look. And now we're trying to get the ulti back again. All right, there's a trick with the sacrificial sword too. Uh, just make sure with the sacrificial sword, if you hit with it, wait like a two second interval and then try to hit again to make sure that you get everything up. Because otherwise you're gonna have some big problems. So for the overall kit I got right now, um, I am using a sacrificial sword. The refinement doesn't matter because it doesn't increase the energy recharge rate. The whole reason you use the sacrificial sword is because it has a base attack and energy recharge rate. So the other option that you could use if you don't have it, but you ended up getting something else, is the Favonius sword. So if you do end up getting a Favonius sword, that is a great option. That is possibly the best way to go for a support build Bennett. For artifacts right now, what I am rocking is a two-piece maiden set and two-piece scholar set. The reason I'm going with a scholar set, exile's fine by the way, uh, it's the same shit, is because you just want the energy recharge rate from scholar. The things that you need to know is that the attack value on Bennett doesn't matter too much because you're not gonna be doing a ton of damage on him. His elemental mastery doesn't matter at all. What you need is HP percentage and healing and energy recharge rate. Those are the only three stats you need. Everything else is just fluff. Doesn't really matter what you get after that point. Uh, if you get HP percentage on over here, you want HP percentage on here, and you want healing bonus on the headpiece. 
That's all you gotta know. Because if you, you can actually get healing bonus and HP on, on this piece and get large amounts of HP for a best in slot piece for healer Bennett. Elemental mastery is nice on him if you wanna do cross elemental reactions. Attack damage is nice. Attack percentage is nice. Crit is unnecessary. You don't really need those things. The subsets you need don't really matter too much. For constellations, for Bennett, the thing you need is constellation zero. You don't need constellation one. You don't need constellation two. You need constellation zero. The reason you need constellation zero is because the thing you get out of constellation one is two things. The first thing you get is it makes it so the attack boost has no restriction. And because the attack boost has no restriction, it doesn't matter because you heal so fast that the attack boost doesn't matter. Now, a lot of people ask, wait, Psychopoco, wouldn't you want to build attack so that you could get more attack from your attack buff? Well, and that's going back into this constellation right here. What he gets out of this is a 20% base attack increase. Now, this will actually increase the amount of damage that you're going to get when using your ultimate and the amount of damage transferred to your friends. So, the way that the Bennett ultimate works, if you did not know, is it is based off your base attack. Your base attack, the only things that matter on that are your level and your total weapon damage. That's it. Just your level and your weapon damage. Those are the only two things that matter for base attack. Everything else does not matter. That is the value it's calculated off. So if you want to know the best in-slot weapon for Bennett, it's the Skyward Sword. It has energy recharge rate, and it has the highest attack value for him. Done. Easy. So that's why it matters. The, and the feather? Feather does not matter for base attack. Now, let's go ahead and test Bennett. Uh, right now, we're gonna be using Ningling as the base. She's at starting at 1,860 attack, and we're gonna use her to test it. Okay, we're gonna start out with the first attempt with the uh, plus eight Scholar Feather that we have right now. All right, Ning Wang now in the aura, 2,456 uh, attack. Okay, now we're going to be doing it with the um, plus zero Scholar Quill. Okay, she's currently at the attack by 2,456 attack. So clearly the plume does not affect the amount of attack that you're gonna get on your Bennett. You just need to focus on the weapon as well as the character level in order to get the most amount of base attack increase. So those of you who are trying to build attack percentage builds on your Bennett for support, this is actually the wrong tact and this is just showing you why that is. If you're wondering what the best is for Bennett, Sacrificial Sword is better even though I believe Favonius has higher attack overall on that by a little bit. The reason the Sacrificial Sword is better is because you can get more energy out of it to get your ultimate up faster. A chance on a critical strike to get that done. That seems way, way more consistent. Now as far as a full Maiden build goes, that is a possibility. You can go with a full Maiden set to then get yourself a little bit more healing because anytime you use an elemental skill or an elemental burst, you improve your healing even further. That would again improve your healing. So if you wanted to do that route, it is a good option. Is it the best option? That's totally up to you as a player. You decide if that's the route you wanna go. Having a good amount of energy recharge is very important. Then we're going into Bennett's overall artifact details here. Bennett right now has 200% uh, energy recharge rate currently, and I do not have maxed artifacts right now. Uh, if I do get, I have, I have plus 16 on my artifacts right now. I'm not probably gonna go up too much higher than this. I, I was trying to get HP rolls on a plume, and I'm still trying to farm a plume right now to get one that has more HP rolls on it, uh, which is really weird, by the way. <laughs> and, um, the other pieces I have are all okay. This, I just ended up, whatever legendary piece you get for a headpiece with healing bonus, which you're gonna get one, trust me, when farming your other stuff. The maiden stuff, you're just gonna kinda get with HP rolled maiden stuff. You might have this already from your Barbara set, so you just kinda cannibalize it and bring it over from your Barbara. Of course, those are the things you really want. All right, guys, my name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Bennett going over his details and going over how you can use him as a support character. Stay tuned for the next video we'll be putting out, which is going to be, uh, of course, linked to that in the description below for a uh, DPS, main DPS Bennett, and he's actually really sick. So, guys, hope you guys see you there. Like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.